Hello YouTubers, I have it in iframe resolution and I'm going to try and see what the focusing is like. It doesn't have a macro specific button on it but I thought I would check it out to see how well the focus is and how close I can get the camera to the text. In this video also I shall put in the different fields of view at the end and also show you what the pictures are like in the various different resolution settings. So here we have the focusing. Now seems to focus a bit better on the larger text. But if I zoom in and pull out a little bit look at that so that's zoomed in okay it's not macro but it still does pretty well doesn't seem to want to focus any closer I mean that's like really close that's like a fingers thickness away The cool thing is, when you zoom in and pull out, it's really clear. Yes. Well, that is probably about four inches away. And as I get closer, it starts to blur. But on the bigger text, it seems to do a better job. Okay, so let's have a look at the field of view and also I'll do a quick zoom test. There you go. That's quite good. Nice fluid zoom. Now what I'm going to do is the zoom test. So there we've got the clock. Mm, that's pretty good. Uh, it's quite similar to the Kodak cameras lovely jubbly. I also did a zoom in test in low light and there was no problem with it going dark and also there's no pause in the zoom the zoom is quite fluid. Okie dokie! Right, so I have it in the iframe mode. What I'm going to do is try out the different effects that this camera can do. So at the moment I'm in the normal mode. Let's see what the next mode is. So here we go. This is sepia, I think. And it is not... The zoom works just as well. So that's cool. Um, everything is red. Or it looks red from where I'm standing. Okay, let's see what the next one is. This is smooth face, I think. It's meant to smooth out um, your face. Does it smooth out your face? I don't know. Um, now it's gone slightly blue. Okay, let's see what the black and white is like. So here we have black and white. One thing I can confirm is that the little red light that I spoke about before does come on when you record. The weird thing is, is that it's on the back and not on the front, which is a bit weird. So there you go, that's black and white. That's all the effects. I hope you're enjoying these videos and I'll do some more later on. Okay then, bye bye.